All right. Now we're doing great code camp, responsive web design, learning HTML by building a cap photo app, step 58. All right. So now we're going to add another checkbox after the one we just added. The ID attribute should be lazy and the name attribute value should be the same as the checkbox. Uh, we're going to also add a label element to the right of the new checkbox with the text lazy. And we're going to make sure to associate the label element with the new checkbox using the for attribute. Again, they could they said lazy, but they could have said anything else. They could have said adorable. They could have said anything else, but they chose lazy. lazy right? That's what we're dealing with. So let's come over here. We're going to take it from uh, right here up to right here, and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to paste it right here and we're going to change all these up to lazy. So we'll say lazy right here. And yeah, it is whatever. <laughs> we're going to say lazy right here. We're going to change this four up to lazy and we're going to change this up to lazy right here. But we're going to change this L to a capital L. All right. Just like this. That's paisley. Just like this. Lazy. All right. And so now we've got another one right here and it's clickable and all that stuff. Uh, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 59 and we'll see you next time.